Hey fellow Terrians, as per your requests, another guide here for you today and we're gonna talk about alchemy, we're gonna talk about herbs, plants, how to find them, how to plant them, how to grow them and so on. So first question is of course finding the seeds, okay, seeds of all the major important herbs. Okay, so one good way would be to explore the surface of your world and look for wooden chests, like this one and in some of these chests you will f eventually find you will be able to find herb bags okay so those are not particularly rare so you can actually find and there you go got two in one in one chest so um usually you would be able if you probably out of 10 ch wooden chests you you would find probably six to ten uh bags herb bags right so in our quick run we got 11 Okay, so let's open them and see what we get. So you, you, we're looking for seven different kinds of seeds. Okay, so deathweed, fire blossom, day bloom. Okay, let's see, shiver thorn, and we're at four out of seven. And moon glow, of course. Okay, so five out of seven, and uh, yeah, blink root, perfect. And we're only missing, yes, water leaf. Okay, so we got them all and it took seven, seven bags, right? So now we have all different seeds. So at this point, you really don't need to explore the world too much for looking for seeds in dangerous places. So you would be set to start your farm. Okay, so, and this would be great. However, obviously, it, it, we cannot count on that level of luck, right? So what if you can't find that many, uh, all of the different kinds of seeds, right? And so you actually missing some and you may need to look for them around the world so this is the the long way okay so and the first one most common you'll find pretty much right away is day bloom okay so harvest it during the day it will yield some seeds as well okay so one to two to three okay so that's that's essentially uh, one so next we need rain so for the next one next one is water leaf and it only grows in the desert so but don't harvest it when it's not raining because you will not get the seeds you can only obtain seeds well when harvesting grown plant during rain okay so rain is the key all right so it can by the way note it can um blossom even at night as long as it's raining okay guys so keep it in mind rain is the key for that so the next one is a little treacherous, a little dangerous, uh, because the place itself is dangerous. You need to go to your uh, evil biome, be it corruption or crimson. And you need to wait for... So we see we found one, it's not ready yet, it's not fully grown to even blossom, to have a chance to blossom. So if you, if you harvest it now, you get no seeds. It, and now it's, you see it's ready, but you cannot harvest it yet. You can only harvest it during full moon or blood moon note that it becomes bloody red the moment blood moon appears or full moon right so this is when you can har harvest it and that only then you can get the seeds okay if you harvest it know that if you break it with your sword or a pickaxe before uh, you know before full moon or before blood moon it will not yield seeds okay so the next one is moon glow moon glow is available in the desert or in the desert in the jungle you can find it in jungle and you can only harvest it at night to get the seeds right so again you can harvest it during the day as well but you won't obtain seeds so seeds we just need one seed of each plant right so that's what we're after so that's what why it's so important so look at this finally the shiver thorn is fully grown and ready to be harvested so this plant can be harvested regardless of time of day or weather Okay, so, but it grows uh, pretty slowly. Okay, so you might have to wait. Now, this one is a little tricky. Blink root. It grows on dirt and normally underground. However, it is possible to make it appear and grow randomly on dirt above the surface. Okay, so now, see, this one is now blossoming and ready to be harvested. So, however, if we wait too long, it will transition back to the previous state so and it won't be producing seeds if, if harvested so while you have those yellow flowers uh, harvest it and you will get your seeds so blink root seeds is another one we needed and next we go to the underworld 
looking for fire blossom. So fire blossom is an interesting one. It will only start blossoming, you see, at 3.45 p.m. and will continue until 7.30. So at 7.30 it will stop blossoming, okay, till the next day, till 3.45 p.m. And again, if it's raining, it won't blossom at all. So regardless uh, the, the fa of the fact that it grows underground, right, so uh, on, uh, in the underworld. All right, guys, we've collected all seven kinds of seeds that we were looking for. It's time to find some clay. Okay, we need clay for uh, clay pots, of course, to be able to plant the, the, the seeds. And um, at the beginning, of course, this is this is the, the, mo the best way to go about it. Later on, once you have your dryad, once you defeated the Eye of Cthulhu, and, and you have your dried, you can actually uh, buy planter boxes and we'll look into those immediately. Okay, so now first, but first, yeah, usually b b by then you would already have a, go a going farm, which is going to be quite efficient. All right, so um, we need a furnace and now we're ready to craft clay pots. Okay, so now you have your clay pots, you have the seeds, so where do, to place the farm? Okay, so um, you can do it anywhere essentially, but note that underground it's going to be slower, so producing plants slower. Okay, so it may not be a problem because uh, at some point you will make it, you will expand it, it's going to be huge and it will be producing plenty of plants for all your needs regardless of whether it's above surface or below surface, right? So, but for the sake of con convenience we put this uh, little farm above surface because um, we don't want to place walls and create, you know, build, build huge buildings at this point, right? So just a quick farm it's going to be very efficient it doesn't matter that uh, all of these plants are above surface even the ones that normally grow underground you'll be just as happy as all the rest of your of your herbs on inside this farm okay and so the next thing once you get your dryad you'll be able to get uh, blink root planter boxes and there are different kinds of planter boxes one for each herb type and you will be able to eventually get them all, but you will need to kill a few bosses before they get unlocked. Okay, so, but don't get discouraged because uh, it doesn't even matter. You don't have to match uh, the plants and the type of box. You can use any box for any plant. Okay, so with the same effect. So there is really no, it's only a cosmetic um, decorative dis difference, right? So there's nothing really to worry about. So you just, so first one you can get is blink root. So, so you can use blink root planter boxes to, to plant all your different kinds of seeds and grow your entire, your entire farm in, inside those. But just for the sake of, you know, the aesthetics, we're gonna put all different kinds here just to show um, clear separation between different types of, of herbs, right? So this is this is just for convenience. Okay, so, but again, there is no real difference. You can plant them, you can mix and match whatever way you want, you'll still have the same effect. They grow just as fast. All right, guys, so let's quickly populate all of these planter boxes for the corresponding seeds to complete this little nice plant farm. And then we'll see them grow. All right. So one thing I need to mention. So there are some differences in how they grow. Okay. So uh, in recent patches and updates, um, so shiver thorn is actually made to grow slower. So it grows. It, it will grow slower now. But once it blooms, it will never stop blooming. Basically, it blooms permanently. Okay. So that's shiver thorn we're planting right now. And uh, blink root, yeah, that's another tricky one because it will reach its uh, maturity and then it will it will start blooming, but then it will stop blooming and it will alternate like that for a long period of time. Okay, so pretty much indefinitely. So you you pretty much will never have all of your blink root uh, plants blooming at the same time. Okay, so uh, now the stuff of regrowth very very useful for harvesting as it increases the yields all right so both seeds and 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 flowers so you can obtain it by fishing uh, in the jungle so from jungle crates and also from ivy chests underground jungle 
Alright guys, how about we speed up the clock a little bit, like 24 times the normal speed and see how the, f the plants are you know, growing and blooming in real, real time pretty much. Alright guys, so note how weather and time of day affects the farm. Right, so different depending on what kind of plant it is, it's gonna be triggered by certain conditions. This is quite remarkable, and it's nice to see it. And when the time sped up, right? So look at this: it's raining, and we have uh, water leaf blooming. It's night, and we have moon glow. And so at the bottom, blink root. It doesn't matter what time of day or weather; it will still go on and off randomly. And so at the top you have day bloom during daytime, right? And by the way, day bloom will bloom even if it's raining. Uh, but as long as it's daytime, right? So and so on and so forth. And now it's full moon. Note that when the weather when the time changes to 7:30 p.m., you'll see some deathweed uh, blooming as well. Boom. Okay, so now we have both moon glow and death weed because it's night and it's full moon. All right, guys. So what's the point of this? So while we're waiting for this uh, for the plants to grow, why do we need them? And the answer is very simple. Obviously, for potions, right? So potions in in Terraria give you massive advantage. You can buff your defense and and offensive uh, performance by a lot. You know arguably more than 20% in total easily more than 20% because you can have a potion of, of damage that boosts damage by 10% you can have a potion of crit chance that then increases your crit chance by 10 10% so on and so forth there is a potion that gives you plus 20% life which is massive right so potion life force potion for example there are potions that increase your your damage your defense your your regeneration your magic powers you name it and so for all of those we need ingredients and uh, so th all these seven herbs are not the only ingredients that we'll need for potions but they are uh, they're part of many most of the potion in, in recipes and so obviously they are very important so at the very least you should have a farm like this obviously in, in during my playthroughs especially co-op playthroughs we build much bigger farms right so for all our needs because we we produce we need a lot a lot of potions so for example if you have 10 people on your server playing with you right so for each of, of these people you will need potions and for those potions you need ingredients so obviously you you need at least I would say a hundred plus planter boxes of each kind right so seven times basically so 700 boxes and look at this so we've we've almost done collecting the first run okay so of uh, of crop we're just missing three right so we're waiting for nighttime to collect to start collecting the moon glow and there you go okay so let's do that and then we'll see we'll uh, see what happens but that's that's the point right so potions potions and and potions and potions and you will need lots of potions especially if you're playing any challenge challenging uh, uh, difficulties and stuff right so potions will be mandatory for the most part in this, uh, some boss fights will require all your potions and buffs and look at this we activate blood moon just to be able to collect death weed and now we got it okay so um and the last one but not least is the water leaf right below so for that we need rain right so let's wait for rain and where is the rain there it is and look at this so now we got we've pretty much harvested everything that we wanted and we've got plenty of extra seeds so at this point you could expand your farm make it much bigger and pretty much never need to worry about uh, these types of ingredients ever again so that's in a nutshell that's how you build your your herb farm guys and um, the second part will we'll, uh, look into actual potion recipes and, and 
other ingredients, but for now that's it, thank you for watching guys and see you in the next video.